What is up, guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi Fi battle with Jules, of course, the Scarender. And of course, welcome to the MMBA, of course, week seven. And this time, we're going up against the Yuchin Rotoms. And the opponent I'm going up against, bringing pretty much his team I was kind of expecting, being, of course, Thunderous, Mega Heracross, Swampers, Hitmoli, and Galvantula. Did not expect Ninjask, was predicting Whimsicott or Volcarona, which was also part of his roster. Or a Ditto even, which is somewhat rare. But uh, he did not bring any of those who brought Ninja, which means that I have a clear idea what he wants to do with the team. Uh, definitely stick a web and then pretty much uh, enforce Heracross to be fast enough to deal with all the threats that I'm having, of course, in my team. I myself am bringing uh, Rind of Berry right here to be able to actually not be too hit killed by Galventula or being one hit killed by Grass Knot. It has Rock Blast, Earthquake. Stealth Rocks, and I do believe Toxic. Uh, then we have, of course, Tauros. Um, and uh, it's the usual set, really. Um, Rock Climb, I do believe, Send Headbutt, and uh, Filler Moves, I believe. But those are the only moves that matter. I do believe Rock Slide, too. Assume Real assault, assault Vested with uh, Waterfall, Open Jet, Play Rough, and uh, Knock Off. Latios, uh, Healing Wish set, Max Speed, and it has Psy Shock and Dragon Pulse Tangrowth. Physically bulky with Rocky Helmet for Heracross, and uh, yeah, nothing to it. And Mammoth Swine, of course, Icicle Plate with the standard set knockoff. Um, no, actually, Freeze Dry, Ice Shard, um, Earthquake, and of course, Icicle Crash. So, anyway, let's go to the game. So, from the get go, I do predict kind of right. I do lead here with Rhyperior because I want to break the Sash and kill him and take, of course, the possible Giga Drain. And uh, while that is actually a smart idea, he's actually gonna switch out here to Swampert. I was in no position really to you know, go for that Stealth Rock because I would have lost, or I could have done it, but it wasn't really worth it at the time. So I decided here that, you know, I need obviously to get out. I don't want to risk a Skull the Waterfall, though it probably is a Skull set, of course. So go into Sarlax, and uh, I actually forgot to have Air Lace on this Tangro, which is unfortunate, but it doesn't really matter because I get a Scare or a Critical Hit and a Burn on me. Which is just the best because that means that Heracross can win freely. I do believe I go for Rock Slide here, which is as stated here, I should have had Air Lace over Rock Slide. But as you guys will see, it wasn't really doing any much here, and I would probably have done here with a bit of luck around 25%, so it's not a big hit really on it. And due to my situation, I can't really switch out. And uh, I basically go here, I do believe, for Hidden Power. Uh, um, ice and obviously it's not gonna hurt him now obviously I am lucky here that he misses it but at the same time it's not like I do a lot of damage and I have like I said no position to switch out because it can go for bullet seed and bullet seed just kills my sumeril so it's rather risky I can't outspeed it so I have to take Tangrove and as you guys saw Rocky Helmet is not effect pin missile which is well didn't really think about that so anyway I'm gonna go to Turision and uh, just go for a send headbutt here and Cinnabot is a clear KO for, of course, Heracross. Uh, but it's gonna switch out to Swampert, which does take this really nicely. Uh, but it doesn't really want to take this Rock Line, which luckily for me, I do actually revenge that crit and just kills the Swampert, which is awesome. So here comes a Ninjask, and here's the thing. Ninjask can't really do anything here, you know, I, obviously... Um, I am, of course, in a situation where I can miss a uh, Rock Slide, but outside of that... He has no switching for Tauros. Tauros just keeps pressuring him, even if he goes for a, um, what do you call it, the Baton Pass. Anything that comes in will get a massive amount of damage onto it. And knowing that, I'm just gonna keep going for Sin Headbutt, because that means that I can keep Mega Heracross from coming in, and everything else I can actually deal with. So, uh, I didn't really fear the Ninjask here, and he sees that he just loses HP at the point here, and uh, he's now in range where uh, if he goes for another substitute, he can come in on Stealth Rocks. While I realize that, it's gonna switch out. And uh, yeah, like I said, I basically keep going because Sen Headbutt does hurt. So you're gonna go to Thunderous here. Um, and yeah, I will say this. Did not expect Thunderous here and it's just so close of killing it. Now, seeing that it's very likely to go for Thunder Wave, I'm just gonna go to Fork Bid, of course, the Mammoth Swine. While he predicts that, go for Flash Cannon, sadly. And uh, I'm gonna go for an ice shot here, and uh, the Yasha Bear is gonna kick in. But I have an 80% chance of KOing him, so, you know, shit. Unluckily for me, he just survived there and get, of course, 20% chance of living. And I'm gonna lose, of course, Fork Bid, which is the worst, really. 
So I'm going to say go to Juice the Palm here and go for the Aqua, Aqua Tail, I was going to say, but of course Aqua, Aqua Jet. But sadly, just T Waymer here, which of course was to be ex to be expected. But since it didn't use his funders, I was feeling like maybe, maybe doesn't have it. But unfortunately, he did. And Galvation is gonna come in here. So I was feeling, all right, it's time to get our Brox. I don't care if it goes for Giga Drain or a Thunder. Hopefully, Thunder really. But this Troy can take two of those and retaliate with self Brox. That's really all I need right now. As of course, it goes for the Giga Drain. So like I said, there's nothing to it. Giga Drain does some damage to me, but I can definitely take another one. If, um, you know, he doesn't crit me, because, you know, that's a thing. So, that, that's, that is unfortunate. That is really, really unfortunate. So, I'm gonna bring Lanias here. I was basically hoping to get off my rocks up and then go for Dragon Pulse. I can't kill him since he's still in Sash. And, um, Bug Buzz will push me, you know, down the line here. Um, but I, I will be able to KO, of course, Galventula. But outside of that, I was feeling right here that, you know, I can't... I can't risk it. Uh, I can't go for a healing wish since it's gonna send a hit melee. I was feeling he's gonna go for a sucker punch and uh, or being scarfed, anything of that really. So I decided to switch out to juice the palm because that's my best bet as he goes for an endure. So I was thinking, all right, we might just be able to of course take this one on as I go for a play rough, which of course will kill the hit melee without a damage. But here's the thing, and here's the thing. Um, while I am in a good position here, He's gonna bring in, of course, Ninyask, and I'm going for Waterfall, seeing, of course, that he will very likely go for a substitute, but I'm fully paralyzed. And that is pretty much GG, actually, and sadly, because due to that, his Heracross can actually now sweep my team. I have nothing for that Heracross, and that freaking paralyzation just came in and just ruined the game for me. While it is unfortunate, of course, um, it is just what it is. I, I'm not particularly like salty about this loss. I do believe uh, I had a better game plan here and you know kept the pressure going. But me getting the Zoom Real Paralyzed definitely mattered a lot for the game because that meant simply that uh, I, I had wasn't the risk of getting fully paralyzed. And the risk of getting fully paralyzed is that of course Ninjas could by just a shot in the dark really pull off of course this. Um, Baton pass to, of course, make a hair across, and I can't outspeed it, sadly. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much GG, so good job, Nasser. So, yeah, sorry about that anticlimactic ending there. Um, I really have to, of course, go into more detail, you know, how the game turned out the way it did, because I really feel that um, I had. I, I was in, in advantage. I definitely was at an advantage in this game. Um, First of all, of course, let's talk about the Thunder surviving the Ice Shard. Really unfortunate for me, not game decisive by any chance, but you know, that, that's a part of the game. And then we have, you know, should I have switched in the Sumerail uh, instead of... Um, or should I switch in Rhyperior instead of a Sumerail? And yeah, probably should have brought Rhyperior, forcing him to go for a Grass Nod, and, or even Flash Cannon probably, depending on his set, really. I, I don't. I, he should have hidden Power Ice, to be honest with you. But... Um, it kind of felt like it didn't have that, and that I was not in that mindset, but I should have done that. Rhyperior does not fear uh, Thunder's release, as it was especially defensive, and could definitely take any hit from it. So I should probably have done that as in a risking, of course, I assume really getting paralyzed. But I so wanted my Rhyperior healthy to get up rocks, forcing his hit molly for Rapid Spin as I could healing wish. My Laudio still, of course, uh, uh, what do you call it? The, um, the assume really can get off, of course, the paralyzation. That is not what happens, unfortunately, and um, sure, I could have brought Tauros or uh, Latias against, and uh, what do you call it, or at least Tauros, like sacking a Sumerail and bringing Tauros against, of course, and Ninyask, and things would have been much, much different, but I don't do that play, and, you know, obviously, you know, that's my fault, you probably had a better end game than I really did, I was so set there that, you know, I had a game wrapped up, I knew exactly what I wanted to do, the crit there on Rhyperior definitely matters in that regard of my how my end game looked, but I then again I did not pull that off as good as I hoped for. And you know that paralyzation, the only paralyzation I get is of course the one that matters because it happens so late in the game where I can't risk getting paralyzed. So unfortunately I win or I lose this game. I was gonna say win this game. I lose this game 2-0. Uh, but uh, yeah. I don't think my opponent played any badly or anything like that. Not at all. But I feel I had I had the game, and, and I feel the game decided it for us, or the hacks 
the side of the game, not necessarily the game my opponent made at there at the end. It was basically luck that uh, decided that game. So it is unfortunate, but it also is a part of the game. And um, you know what else can I say? This was definitely an, a game where hacks was definitely not in my favor, and eventually caught up to me. Eventually caught up to me. But also, like I said, probably getting my Assumeril paralyzed was not optimal play. So that was probably the only bad play I did this game. But um, that's the game we play. Um, I do like the game, I thought it was really interesting to the very end. Like I said, a bit frustrated about the paralyzation, but outside of that, Nasser, good job buddy. And for you guys who been watching, I hope you like this game, and uh, we are now not first anymore in the MBA, I was gonna go, MMBA, but I'm looking to solve that, don't you guys worry. So yeah, everybody, thank you so much for watching, and of course, I see you next week, until then, take care, bye.